Buffer overflow attacks are a critical concept for candidates studying for the Certified Internal Auditor CIA Part 3 exam, focusing on business knowledge for internal auditing. Understanding this concept is crucial for auditors to effectively evaluate and strengthen information security controls within an organization. What is a buffer overflow attack? Imagine you're trying to pour a gallon of water into a jug that only holds a quart. What happens? The water overflows spilling everywhere. In computer terms, a buffer overflow occurs when more data is sent to a buffer, a temporary storage area, than it can hold. This excess data then overflows into adjacent memory spaces, potentially overwriting and corrupting valid data. Attackers exploit this to execute malicious code or crash a system. Why should internal auditors care? As internal auditors, understanding the technical aspects of buffer overflow attacks helps in identifying the risks associated with software and systems used by the organization. This knowledge is vital for assessing the effectiveness of the organization's information security controls and recommending improvements to mitigate such risks. How do buffer overflow attacks work? To grasp the mechanics, let's break it down. Identifying a vulnerable buffer. Attackers first find a buffer in a program that is vulnerable to overflow, often through inputs like form fields on a web page. Crafting the payload. The attacker then creates a payload, which is a block of data that includes malicious code designed to be executed by the target system. Executing the attack. The crafted payload is sent to the target, overflowing the buffer and overwriting adjacent memory areas. If done correctly, the overflow will overwrite specific areas that control the execution flow of the program, allowing the attacker to inject and execute malicious code. The Role of Internal Auditors As an internal auditor, your role in preventing and detecting buffer overflow attacks involves Risk assessment. Evaluate the software and systems for known vulnerabilities, including those that might be susceptible to buffer overflow attacks. Control evaluation. Assess the adequacy of controls in place to prevent, detect, and respond to buffer overflow attacks. This includes reviewing software development practices, patch management, and response plans. Recommendations. Propose enhancements to controls such as implementing more rigorous input validation, code reviews to identify potential buffer overflows, and updating incident response plans to address such attacks. Mitigation strategies. To safeguard against buffer overflow attacks, organizations can implement several strategies. Input validation. Ensure that inputs are properly validated to prevent malicious data from causing a buffer overflow. Secure coding practices. Developers should follow secure coding guidelines that help avoid buffer overflow vulnerabilities. Regular updates and patches. Keep all systems and software up to date with the latest patches to fix known vulnerabilities. Security training educate developers and relevant staff about the risks of buffer overflows and best practices for prevention.